An Austin area mother speaking out, she says the local tax office told her it would be months before she could register her son as a driver with a communication impediment. Reporter Samuel Stark found out why she thinks the delay could have put her son in harm's way and why our questions are leading to change. Vicki Wigton says when her son Dave received his driver's license, it opened his life to new freedoms. It was a bit nerve wracking at first, but I got the hang of it. It has made things easier for me, but it's also put, uh, put up a set of worries that maybe most parents don't have. Dave is on the autism spectrum and has a speech impediment, which sometimes makes it difficult for him to express himself. Hi, sir. Can you roll the window down all the way? A fact that makes the thought of her son being pulled over by a police officer terrifying. And if he's not acting like somebody typical, he's got to do what, in his judgment, is the best thing. And the, unfortunately, the best thing, you know, to defend himself maybe to hurt my child. Back in 2019, Texas lawmakers passed the Samuel Allen Law to improve interactions between officers and drivers with challenges like this. There are two ways an officer can find out if a driver has a communication impediment. One is by looking at their license, but another way is by looking them up in the system before approaching the vehicle. Getting Dave into the system was where Vicki ran into trouble. She says she completed the necessary forms and went to the Williamson County Tax Office to submit them. And after waiting for hours, she says she was told she could not get Dave's information into the system until it was time for her annual vehicle registration. That's nine to 11 months that nobody knows what his, back, his disability is, what to expect if he stopped any time during that time period. Texas Department of Public Safety Sergeant Brian Washko agrees it is critical for officers to have this information. That person may be slow to stop and as an officer when somebody fails to stop you automatically think red flags what are they trying to hide so that right there uh, being able to run that plate and seeing that that's going to alleviate a lot of trouble. We called the Williamson County Tax Office and they said Vicki should have been permitted to add Dave's information to her vehicle's registration at any time. The tax office said this was most likely a training issue and extended its apologies to the family. Vicki says getting Dave's information added into the system would no doubt alleviate some of her fears, but she wonders if the law could be updated to provide easier access. We're also told that it has to be done in person. You can't do this by mail, you can't do it by online. We register our cars online. You know, COVID came, we don't want to be out in the offices. But you cannot do that. You have to be in person. We raised the issue to one of the sponsors of the Samuel Allen Law, Representative Armando Martinez. To be honest, it's, it's a little um, upsetting uh, the fact that, you know, when you have new pieces of legislation um, that are created into law, um, you know, you expect people to be able to, to go in there and, and to follow that. Unfortunately, I think there's so many laws that are put in place that it takes time and a training issue. Do you think future iterations of this program would allow for people to register this information online? Oh, absolutely. And I think, uh, you know, once we've analyzed this and we've seen that, hey, maybe this is not, you know, something that can be done online, maybe we should be doing it. And um, if it needs to be created through legislation, then we'll have to do that. And we'll definitely consider doing that this next session. This would help, but just knowing that he is safe on the road, safe from you know, anything that happens, you know, moms don't stop worrying when they turn 18. For State of Texas, I'm Samuel Stark. The Williamson County Tax Office told us an influx of new staff has led to knowledge gaps in important programs like the Samuel Allen Law. Since we first started reporting this story, the county says it's provided additional training to staff at the tax office, and Vicki's been able to add Dave's information to her vehicle's registration. Thank you again for joining us for State of Texas. I'm Josh Hinkle, and we'll be back next week to bring you an in-depth look at Texas politics.